organizations as well. There are also some student groups and organizations that include students of the African diaspora. Is there anyone that, do, do we have mics or handouts for everyone? Awesome. And their representative couldn't be here, but all of these student groups can be found on the OSDA's website or on the University Student Senate website. And then we have um, Project Palestine at the new school, and we do have a student speaker to represent Project Palestine just at the very end of. So if you could just introduce what, what your student organization does and what you're interested in, what you're focused on, and what kind of like, you know, recruitment you would want from the rest of the student body or involvement. Okay, and, and it's just, I'll just, is five minutes fine? Yeah. Okay. Um, Um, so I guess I just can, I'm going to start by just introducing myself and then talking a little bit about how Project Palestine came about. Um, but I, my name is Noor Lashi and I'm the daughter and granddaughter of Palestinian refugees. I, however, was born and raised in this country um, and, and consider myself an American first um, and then also a Palestinian. Anyways, so... Um, I'm actually currently pursuing a creative writing MFA here at the new school and I've been thinking about this idea for so, quite some time since I am a writer, you know, um, and I'm writing a memoir right now about my family's narrative of displacement and I'm not going to get into that story, it's a long story. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm also like a photographer and a graphic designer and so I I'm, I'm definitely would consider myself an artist and have always had this type of appreciation for art, and I've always thought of it as a very effective way of reaching, like, you know, masses of people, especially when it comes to, like, these larger themes of, like, occupation and dispossession. So, um, I read something that Harvard professor Elaine Scarry said not too long ago, and it, it was something to the effect of beauty is an aid to justice. And it was something that really resonated within me because, you know, anything that you create becomes beautiful and, and it really does help in, in creating justice. And so Project Palestine, um, which was, uh, became a recognized organization um, at the beginning of the semester, um, is aimed at illustrating the Palestinian condition through films, music, literature, poetry, art, and discussions. Um, so um, Project Palestine is definitely helping and forming like this progressive and open-minded tone at the new school. And I think it is paramount that we bring Palestine into the social justice community at the new school since it's an issue that's often silenced even in um, liberal discourse. So um, Project Palestine um, confronts that silence by inviting artists not only from all over the city, but all over the country um, to, to discuss and showcase their paradigm shifting work is what I call it. Um, and so we actually at Project Palestine seek to like stimulate the mind and raise awareness by presenting the Palestinian narrative through this universal language of art. And I think humans, and I think we all know this, but humans are wired to respond to narratives more than they do to facts. And so I think through like honesty and beauty and, and, and vul vulnerability, um, Project Palestine makes this taboo issue of, of Palestine more approachable and therefore reach out to an audience who would have otherwise not cared. Um, so just to give you a little bit of, of an idea of, of um, what we're all about, and um, I, I wanted to end by talking about our upcoming event, but before that, I wanted to talk about how helpful people like Jesse, um, who is the ed faculty advisor for um, Project Palestine, and just all sorts of other people um, who have really been so supportive, but I would say the most challenging aspect for Project Palestine actually has been just like seeking funding and, and, and um, because a lot of the artists that we do invite are, are pretty prominent artists and, and do seek honorariums and, and travel costs. And, and so this was something that I was hoping, um, perhaps I can get an idea of, like a, a good idea of how 
I would go about, you know, really reaching out for, for that type of thing. But I did want to end by talking about our final event. It's called Mainstreaming Gaza, and it's, um, it's the final event of the semester, and it's this Saturday from 2 to 4 p.m. And I have flyers here, if you guys didn't get these. Um, but it's going to be an afternoon of, of music and words. We're inviting a classical p piano player and composer who's going to be talking about, um, who's going to perform a song called In Palestine, and then um, some other songs. And then a writer and award-winning blogger, Layla Haddad, who will also talk about her brand new book, Gaza Mom, Palestine Politics, Parenting, and Everything in Between. And for those of you who really love and appreciate Middle Eastern food, we have a really tasty um, Middle Eastern lunch that will also be served. So just to kind of give you an idea, if you guys are interested, please see me after. And then the flyers are probably going to be on the bottom of this stage. So I really, really appreciate your time and listening to this. And I think this is so, so important. And those videos were really, you know, quite moving. And I'm really glad to be here. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for coming. And, and um, we now introduce Sean Elias, and he's a university student senate representative of the School of Drama, and he's also here to introduce his project, uh, the Intercollegiate Collaborative Arts Project. Thank you. That's the first time she was able to say it correctly because she could read it. Um, she usually says Creative Arts Project, but we'll forgive her. So the Intercollegiate Collaborative Arts Project, so uh, throughout this evening you've heard uh, briefly from some of your fellow students and faculty about the social justice um, issues that we face at this university, be it race, LGBTQ, um, heritage, culture, whatever it be, they exist. And so for us at the New School, I felt that the majority of us, our design students, are in the arts, are into actually creating uh, and so often this dialogue and this discussion can remain trapped in just that dialogue and discussion and very uh, seldom does it actually manifest into any physical project. So that being said, I proposed a project to the Student Senate called the Intercollegiate Collaborative Arts Project uh, that would allow the University Student Senate to commission uh, in its truest form of the word, meaning contract and pay uh, the students of this university to create one collaborative piece of art in reference to an issue they feel is relevant to the entire community, um, be it social justice, uh, be it something about hierarchy or bureaucracy. And that form, that creative arts project can take the form of dance, um, Martian drawings, I'm, it could be whatever, whatever they'd like it to be. Uh, this year we decided that to set the project up for success to continue over the course of years to come, we would do a theatrical production. Um, we will be radically updating and staging a full production of a 1930s musical called The Cradle Will Rock by Mark Woodstein. This was actually the first uh, play in music, if you will, that was shut down by the federal government for fear of political and social uprising. Um, this piece is highly political and highly relevant in 2010 to the new school. Um, so we will be onboarding students from every division. Um, we have a costume designer, Anna Karim. Uh, from Parsons School of Design. Uh, music will be done from the gentleman from Manus. Um, Milano is involved in marketing and advertising, uh, as well as the New School for Drama um, will be involved in playwriting, dramaturgy, and acting, which is also open to the entire university. Um, so hopefully, we'll be able to update this, uh, this show to make it stingingly uh, poignant and appropriate for the New School and USA in 2010. Auditions, if you're interested in being part of the uh, cast, will be held December 12th, right here where you are, um, from 2 to 5 p.m. Callbacks will be held later that evening, 6 to 8, so make sure you're available if you're interested in that. If you want to get in on the creative, the designing, the dramaturgy, um, if you want to just contribute ideas as to what issues we need to, we need to inject into the piece, uh, you can go ahead and email um, the Student Senate on our website or USS2010 at me.com. Um, and we can go ahead and continue the dialogue on how to get you involved uh, because it is already becoming um, a very larger project 
than was expected, which is very exciting. We have faculty and staff and guest speakers already scheduled who are interested in, in working with us on this um, pretty exciting thing that will hopefully happen for years to come. Thank you.